the day. <laughs> <laughs> Wedding breakfast, too. Hey, yes. uh, our Storm Track weather team issuing a weather aware for tomorrow on Election Day. So, this is something we got to pay attention to. Yeah, I hate having to do this on a day where a lot of people will be out, but that's the whole purpose of it is to make people aware that there is the potential of strong to severe storms moving through our area. And it has become a very powerful tool, not only for us, but for many of you out there watching. So, uh, certainly stay tuned with us. We will keep you posted on that. And that will be from 6 a.m. until 9 p.m. tomorrow. Now, I'm, I'm actually going to cut it off at 9 because the storms will be out of the area and south of I-85 by then. But tomorrow, the big election day, or Super Tuesday, I should say, we will start out cloudy. Chance of a few early sprinkles or a shower, not out of the question, but this will be the best time frame to try to get out and vote is in the morning, 58 degrees at 8 o'clock. Then we're looking at mid-60s by noon, headed towards 70 and stormy by 5 o'clock. We could be dealing with strong to severe storms, especially around the Birmingham area, back down into Shelby County, all the way over to Gadsden and Anniston and Tuscaloosa by that time frame. But look at this. It's hard to believe we're still in winter, but we've got low 70s in most spots right now. And as we go through the course of the night tonight, we will stay rain free. It's possible as moisture starts to increase from the south, we get a passing sprinkle or two, but this is the radar. There's nothing close by yet. This is going to be a fast moving system. So out ahead of it will be the moisture. That's what you see the cloud cover here, as well as a few blips of green popping up from time to time. That's actually going to help get the atmosphere a little more prepared for the chance of rain and a few thunderstorms. Now we get into the one o'clock time frame. Here is the squall line. We'll likely have Boeing segments along this, which means very strong straight line winds upwards of 60 to 70 miles per hour. Can be very dangerous as well. I know a lot of times we focus on tornadoes, but with a squall line this long, more people will be affected than, say, an individual tornado. So we want everybody to stay on top of the weather. Have your weather app downloaded if you haven't already. Our 42 weather app is absolutely free. You can keep up with lightning as well as the potential of any tornadoes that may develop. There's always an isolated chance. Don't want to rule that out. But the big threat here will be for gusty winds. 5 o'clock, right through the heart of Birmingham. It's going to be a mess tomorrow, tomorrow evening at least, and all of that rain as well as thunderstorms through Etowah as well as Calhoun counties, and then swinging through Jefferson back into Shelby and being as fast as it's moving, it is going to be out of the area quickly. But this is 9 o'clock tomorrow. It's already pushed down towards the Auburn Opelika area, and we start to enjoy some cooler air. So this will be a brief cool down, and we will have at least a break from the cloud cover before our next chance of rain rolls back in here as we get into uh, Thursday. Here's a look at the temperature range tonight. Low 50s, clouds increasing. Then tomorrow, the chance of showers and thunderstorms. We'll have a good bit of fuel with this warm and tropical air in place, so that will help to at least energize the thunderstorms. But again, straight line winds, widespread, can be a real problem for us. Upper 40s, low 50s through East Alabama, and then there's the day tomorrow. 71 to 73, even 74 in Sylacauga. It's looking like it's going to be very tropical and spring-like. 53 tonight for Birmingham, partly cloudy and mild. Here is a look at your storm track seven day. There's 55 and some clearing on Wednesday. Chance of rain again late Thursday, more so into Thursday night and early Friday. That carries into Friday and then wraps up. And this weekend's looking good so far. Highs, though, a bit warmer into the lower 60s.